So the old saying goes, if you take a shot at the king, you best not miss. And this past weekend over on X, um, somebody decided to take a shot at Nerd Roddick. And I got to say, it was a big, big, big miss. Now I get it. He's probably a content creator. He's probably trying to engagement farm, boost his standing on X with those that align with his beliefs. But this is the same old crap that we see from the, from the Wokies, from the woke. And that is pick somebody out that you don't agree with, post about it on social media, and call them every ist ism name in the book just to get a few views and a few likes. Well, son, that has backfired on you. In fact, the dude that I'm talking about, his name is Grayson. from Minute Nerd News. Now, if you look at his bio here, um, you, you'll notice something that three hours ago, he, he removed his pronouns from his bio. Why did he remove his pronouns from his bio? Well, he removed his pronouns from his bio because people were calling him out on it. That's why. In fact, uh, didn't take long for this guy here to comment on a post uh, from Drama Alert who picked this story up saying pronouns and bio equals 100% politics and lies. Block this piece of shit and go about your day. Uh, this post here, this was a no-name guy that was trying to engagement farm and use the popularity of Gary to gain a following for himself. What the piece of shit didn't realize is he exposed himself as a woke idiot causing he because he also forgot to take out his damn pronouns and prove that he's a Disney shill. Now, the funny thing of it is, is Gary, being Gary, posted a photo saying, good morning, my channel is under attack, with a photo from the quartering. <laughs> now, let's, let's address the elephant in the room here, shall we? So Grayson starts out, Nerdrotic is a piece of shit that we've allowed to operate amongst us for far too long. A thread. Well, so you're saying you've allowed him to operate amongst you for far too long? You've allowed? Last I checked, you weren't the arbiter of things, pop culture, entertainment. So to say that We've allowed him to operate amongst us for far too long. This total BS. Before I focus my attention solely on the garbage, let us focus our attention on the explanation of what, he is, what it is he and his little grifter friends do, explained by one of them. Um, the point of being on YouTube is to garner views. That's the point of being on YouTube. It's like running a business. If you own a business and you're running a business, the main function of that business is to make money and survive. How you survive on YouTube is with views. And if you don't understand that, you're dumber than I thought. That's right, folks. They sell you outrage and anger. This is what they do. They make mountains out of molehills to capitalize on an insignificant frustration that their target demographic might be feeling and heighten the issue rather than tame it. Uh, in my opinion, it's simply pointing out the hypocrisy that comes out of Hollywood and the virtue signaling that comes out of Hollywood. No problem with that, pointing that stuff out. That is, unless you've bought into it hook, line, and sinker. Neurotic has an obsession with the concept that anyone who isn't straight, white, or male might make an appearance or, God forbid, lead to a solo project. No. Take a look at the shirt Gary has on. 
It's a rip reverse shirt. That that speaks for itself. You know, it, what it boils down to, folks, is this. If you're putting somebody of race, creed, color, gender into a position just so you can check a box, that's not right. It should be, in reality, the real world, that you, you, you're put in a position because of your qualifications, you're the best person for that job. Not because you're improving a company's DEI score. So again, Grayson, wrong. But of course, he has praise for the MCU. But only when it involves movies where the main protagonist is white, male, and straight. Marvel has only experienced one failure in its entire history as lackluster as some of the box office was in P4 with two movies crossing a billion dollars. Um, Phase Boar had little to no success. Cult, and it, and it all ended with the Marvels, which was an abject failure for the MCU and for Marvel and for Disney. And again, if you're race swapping, gender swapping characters just to check boxes, that's not the way to go about making a show, a movie, whatever. If it occurs as part of the story, naturally that's a whole nother ball game. But the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Kevin Feige is the one that has put into place these, these individuals that think, well, we need, we need to race swap, we need to gender swap, we need to deviate away from the source material of the comics. And you can correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but I don't think I'm wrong in this case. He's just generally a racist, so much so that at this point, he should honestly just come out and admit that he's a white supremacist. Never mind, he's racially char charged comments about Echo. Check this comment. Check this comment out that he jokes won't make it in. It was a joke. You can't take a joke. People can't take jokes anymore. He made a joke, so he made a joke about Echo, so now he's a white supremacist. Dude, you need to get a life. You're just a little boy with a camera and a microphone. Take that away, and what are you, a racist, homo, transphobic, misogynist? No. No. It's called real world, dude. And you live in a fantasy world. You're projecting is what you're doing. And those who project usually are those things themselves. He's such a problematic person that his whereabouts on January 6th could be brought into question. And I bet you wouldn't blink a fucking eye. This Elon Musk nutsack liquor interacts with people currently advocating for a civil war if the election was once again stolen. Um, why are we bringing January 6th into this? Gary doesn't talk about politics a lot on his channel. There are times where politics gets brought up in the context of pop culture and entertainment, but out and outright talking about politics does not happen very often on his channel. And I've been watching Gary now for a uh, better part of four years. This guy is stuck in a never ending circle jerk, literally built on the back of shitting upon suppressed voices and oppressed minorities. It's not a straight white man. He didn't, he don't want it. In fact, he'll dedicate his time to shitting on it for two weeks. It's not about identity politics, dude. It's not about their identity. It's not about their color, their creed, their race. It's about the quality of the content. And if the quality of the content sucks, yeah, he's going to call it out. Yeah, I'm going to call it out. Yeah, others are going to call it out. If the content's good, 
going to say it's good. It's real simple. I'll leave this thread off with this, and it's directed at you, neurotics. Joking about or attempting to further suppress an already suppressed voice is a fucking disgusting way to spend your free time. You're a grifter, and you that's all you ever will be. Then after he says he's going to leave it off, he keeps on going. And going, and going, and going. So, yeah. Here's another, here's another individual, and this has been popping up a lot lately, especially since Gary crossed the million subscriber mark on YouTube. And he's crossed over a little bit with interviews on, you know, being part of a panel on Piers Morgan a couple times, uh, interviewed by Glenn Beck uh, about a couple weeks ago on Glenn Beck's show. Um, yeah, they're just going to keep trying and trying and trying and trying to paint Gary as something that he's not. And why? So they can get their little five minutes of fame. So there you have it, guys. That's my take on this whole drama that happened this past weekend over on X. Um, tell me what you think. I think I think this is another, just another bump in the road as it pertains to uh, YouTube and social media in general. I put myself out there. I expect to get attacked. I expect people to disagree with me. That's fine. I made the conscious decision to put myself on camera and speak my mind. Now everybody's going to agree with me. But does that make me every ist and ism out there on the planet? Nope. Sure doesn't. But it's a tired attack. It's so tiring to hear people say, spew the same things over and over again about people that they disagree with. And quite honestly, it's, it's, it doesn't work anymore. So there you have it. Comment down below. While you're at it, please take time to like this video, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And with that, I will see you guys.